magical treats taste great, but justice and equality taste better. To combat hate, all ad revenue from My HP Kitchen will be donated to trans and LGBTQ charities. Thank you for supporting the kitchen and helping make the world a better place. Mischief managed. Hello, witches, wizards, and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters. Welcome back to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is a YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making magical recipes for each and every item of food and drink that we find inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we created some creepy, spooky fudge flies, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if you're new to the kitchen and you want to see more of these magical recipes, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and then click on the notification bell so you get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. Speaking of which, it's Magic Monday, so let's get back into it. Fire up that cauldron, we're about to bake some magic. This week's recipe can be found in chapter 9 of The Prisoner of Azkaban, Grim Defeat, where we see he revived a bit over a large bowl of porridge. Porridge is back on the menu and we've tackled this one in a few different varieties in the past from overnight oats to a butterbeer porridge that actually looked like a mug of butterbeer. This time I'm going to give the classic porridge the full Hogwarts house treatment and come up with four different flavours inspired by each of the houses. First things first, we need to create our porridge base which is super super easy to do. Making your porridge base is incredibly easy. Start off by getting yourself a saucepan and placing it on a medium heat. Add in your porridge oats, milk, vanilla extract and salt. Stir through until evenly combined and then heat for around 2-3 to three minutes until the mixture is almost boiling. At this point you can turn down the heat to a low simmer and continue to stir as your porridge thickens. After another 2-3 to three minutes it should be ready and although this looks a little thin we are going to keep cooking this porridge as we flavour it so don't worry it will thicken up. I'm going to be making four different flavours today, so I've separated my porridge into four bowls, but if you're just going to make one of these flavours then you can leave it all together. Once you've got your porridge base ready, you can move on to the fun part, which is flavouring them with ingredients inspired by our Hogwarts houses. Of course, if you don't fancy any of the ones I've come up with, let me know what combination you prefer and you can always tailor them to suit your taste buds. First up, I'm going to show you how to create a Gryffindor raspberry porridge. For the Gryffindor raspberry porridge, you want to place your raspberries and some sugar into your saucepan to make a quick jam. Keep on working it until the fruit has broken down and then add a little bit of milk which will help combine this with our porridge. Add in your porridge and stir until smooth. Once you're ready, you can then serve that in your bowl with your favourite choice of toppings. I've gone for dried fruits and some white chocolate. You can also drizzle over honey or golden syrup for some added sweetness. Okay, while the Gryffindors are tucking into their raspberry porridge, we're going to serve up the Hufflepuff breakfast, which is going to be banana and salted caramel to give off some of those butterbeer vibes. For the Hufflepuff porridge I'm adding banana and salted caramel so I'm going to begin by chopping up my banana into rough chunks. You can then add that into the pan along with your caramel and allow the banana to cook. Once it's nice and softened, mash it through and add in your milk. Combine this with your porridge. Stir well and then pour into your serving bowl. To garnish this one I'm using some sliced strips of banana along with some roughly chopped walnuts before drizzling over some extra caramel. Okay, hopefully our Hufflepuffs are satisfied so we're going to move on to the Ravenclaw porridge which is going to be filled with fresh blueberries. For the Ravenclaw blueberry porridge, we'll follow the same process as Gryffindor. Cook the fruit with some sugar to make a quick jam. 
add in the milk, then the porridge and stir until smooth. Pour the porridge into your serving bowls before garnishing with some more fruit and your chosen sauces. Okay, tuck in raven claws. We're about to move on to Slytherin, which is last but by no means least, as this one was actually one of my favourites. I'm serving up a Slytherin porridge made from green tea matcha and honey. For the Slytherin matcha porridge, start off by making your paste from matcha powder and milk. You can also sweeten this with some honey. Once all of your matcha powder has dissolved, add in your porridge. Stir this through until it's a lovely vibrant green and then pour into your serving bowls. Top off with some more fruit and nuts before drizzling over a final helping of honey. And with that, our four Hogwarts house inspired porridge bowls are complete. Goldilocks might have a hard time choosing her favourite one, but I think they're all perfect. Let me know down below in the comments which one was your favourite. Was it the Gryffindor Raspberry, Hufflepuff Sorted Caramel and Banana, or Ravenclaw Blueberry, or Slytherin Green Tea Matcha? If you can't decide, just do what I did and enjoy all four. That is all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see more from my Harry Potter kitchen, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really helps new witches and wizards find our recipes. Hit that subscribe button, then click on the notification bell so you get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. I'm off to enjoy the rest of my breakfast, but I'll see you next time.